in this video, I want to show you that everything you likely believe about weight loss and what's actually necessary to create long lasting and permanent change to your physical health is based on outdated information that has been perpetuated through the last six decades. Every single year, people continue to become more and more unhealthy. Obesity has risen continuously and steadily for the last 60 years. And despite all of this, very few people ever stop to ask the most important and fundamental question. Could not the underlying reason be that the method we're being taught and the method we believe to be true is in fact false? So look. I'm nearly 40 years old, so if you're somewhat close to my age, you remember how big the Matrix movies were when they first came out. If you've never seen them, go watch them. Just remember, special effects in the late 90s <laughs> weren't what special effects are now. But in that first Matrix movie, the main character, Neo, is searching nonstop for an answer. He knows that something's not quite right with the world, but he doesn't know exactly what's wrong. And in his quest for the answer, he finally meets Morpheus, who introduces him to reality. He learns that everything he believes to be real is, in fact, false. It's all based on a lie. It's all based on a simulation and a false premise that everyone just accepts as inherent truth. And his coming out of the Matrix represents an entire paradigm shift. When Neo comes out and begins to see that everything he's been told, everything he currently believes to be real is, in fact, not real and not true. Then, and only then, does he find himself at the beginning of his journey. And this may sound kind of dramatic, but this is a very similar experience I had years ago when I came out of the matrix that is calorie counting and the calorie deficit theory of weight loss. So when I started on my journey, I was 43 pounds overweight. And the only thing I knew in the beginning was that I wanted to change it. So I followed the standard advice. I started to get all of the education and all of the certifications. I began reading all of these books and hundreds of blogs and following all of the popular fitness influencers. And everything they told me seemed quite simple and straightforward. If I wasn't losing weight, it was because I wasn't actually in a calorie deficit. Everyone told me the only thing necessary for weight loss was to be in a calorie deficit. So if I wasn't losing weight, then I must be eating too much food. So I did what everyone told me to do. I cut my portions in half. I ate the same boring foods every day for months on end because I could control the calories that were in those foods. And I did just fine for a little while. I did lose some weight. I was feeling pretty good until I found myself having to fight against my willpower nearly every second of every single day. I was hungry all of the time. So I started using the recommended hacks and tactics to try to prevent myself from succumbing to the urge to eat more food. So I would chew sugar-free gum nonstop and I would drink flavored water and sugar-free energy drinks and diet sodas, trying to trick my brain into thinking that I was eating food. When that stopped working, I tried eating smaller portions more often and I tried filling up on low-calorie snacks to curb the hunger and curb the urges and stop the cravings without destroying the precious calorie deficit that I was creating each day. And when my weight loss plateaued, I decreased my calories even further and I started exercising even more. I tried to keep pushing through the hunger and through the cravings until about three months in when I suddenly realized I couldn't manage it anymore. I was thinking about food all of the time. There were nights when I would eat an entire box of cereal or an entire bag of Hershey Kisses, and then I would feel like the most disgusting, pathetic person on earth. I would think, why can't I just be disciplined and use my willpower and my self-control? I couldn't understand why I couldn't control myself or my hunger. I didn't know why I couldn't just deny my urges and deny my cravings. I started to doubt myself. I started to wonder if what everyone told me when I was 
early on in recovery from drug addiction if that were true. Maybe I was destined to forever be an addict, or maybe I really did have an addictive personality, or maybe I was just impulsive and it was just something that I was going to have to manage for the rest of my life. And I fought this battle for close to two years. So yes, sometimes it does take me way longer than I'd like to admit to learn something the hard way. It was when I was still actively searching for the answer. Just like Neo, right? Deep down, I knew there had to be an answer. I knew that what I was trying couldn't possibly be the best that there was to offer. I refused to believe that in order to maintain a body weight that was healthy for me, I had to resign myself to severe restriction and diligent tracking of everything that I ate for the rest of my life. And it was at this time when I was really beginning to believe that I also might have an eating disorder because I would restrict myself until my urges became so great that I'd give in to them, which set off this guilt-ridden binge of eating everything that I wasn't supposed to eat. It was during this time that I started to come out of the matrix. Now, I've read so many books on nutrition and weight loss that they've all gotten blurred together at this point. And most of them, by the way, are just the same rehashed nonsense that everyone just regurgitates as truth, which again, just perpetuates the problem that I found myself in that most of the people that I speak with today are currently in. But there is one book that I managed to hold on to because it spoke perfectly to the dilemma that I found myself in eight years ago. And it's this book, Always Hungry, which by the way, is a great title because that's exactly what I was going through all of those years ago. But here's the truth. You don't actually need to read this book because I'll tell you when you understand the truth and you begin to see reality for what it really is, weight loss is so much simpler than we've all been taught. The fundamental concept that books just like this one awakened in me is so simple. The quality of food matters far more than the quantity or the calories. When I started focusing on quality, I soon began to find myself in a place where I didn't have to worry about quantity or how much I was eating. I found myself not feeling starved and hungry all of the time. I didn't have to constantly fight against my willpower and temptations and cravings and urges. My body changed from the inside out. I got leaner and more muscular. My belly finally went away. I had more energy and I felt better. And I didn't have to spend all of my waking hours thinking about nutrition and food and exercise. It became so much easier. And in all honesty, it became quite natural. And look, I understand that my saying quality over quantity might sound too simple, but I'm really not messing with you here. It really is that simple when you break it all down and you understand the truth. And I wanna do my best to begin to open your eyes to the truth and break it down for you as simple as possible. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to do a more in-depth training series starting next week where I explain exactly what I learned over the last 10 years in order to lose 43 pounds, keep it off permanently, and to do it all in a way that requires zero calorie counting, zero portion control, no long-term restriction or deprivation, not fighting urges and cravings every minute of every day, and it doesn't require me to have my nutrition or my exercise as the number one focal point of my entire life. If you want to go on a journey where you can finally achieve the health that you want without having to earn a degree in physics or physiology or nutrition or learn how to biohack your body, whatever the crap that's supposed to mean, then it's time to escape the matrix. Escape the mainstream current of false information that's driving the obesity epidemic to greater numbers every single year. When Morpheus meets Neo, he tells him, I'm trying to free your mind, but I can only show you the door. You're the one who has to walk through it. So if you're with me on this, if you're ready to walk through the door, just type, I'm ready in the comments on this video. 
I'll make sure you get the trainings as they're released over the next couple of weeks. Make sure you grab a copy of my free guide. Also, it outlines my biggest needle mover for fat loss if you're looking to really jumpstart your progress immediately. The link is in the description of this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can stay informed on all of our new trainings, including the series that I just mentioned. Check this video out next. Thanks for checking this video out. We'll see you in the next video.